Hey, 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 how is it going again, Guardians? LV Native here with another Destiny video. Well, it is Friday, November 25th, time for another Xur location and reset video. So, as you can see, he's actually right over here near the hangar, so he's finally taking a step back into the tower. Feels like it's been forever since I've seen him in here, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what he's got for us this time around. So as usual, Zur is starting things off with the Legacy Engram. Myself, I would recommend not wasting any of your strange coin on this, unless there is just a specific helmet from year one that you're unable to get anymore that you really need to make to your collection. That's the only way I can see spending any type of money on the Legacy Engrams. All right, next up for your Titan, we have the Immolation Fists, which grant you the exclusive Pyre perk for free. Uh, this is a straight strength roll, and it's around the medium side. It does go up quite a bit higher than that, but it's definitely not the worst. If you're interested in what his second stat booster is going to be, it is going to be Discipline for this one. Now this is a decent weapon. It is not my first choice whenever I'm deciding to run with an exotic on my Titan, but if you don't have it or if you're someone who likes to run the Explosive Pyre and you would want to see how well these work for you, go ahead and pick them up and try them out. Next up for your Hunters, we have the Crest of Alpha Lupa. Now, I'm sure most of you probably already have one of these right now. This one comes with a straight intellect roll with a maximum of 138. I do believe that is uh, capped off for this particular piece. Its second stat boost, in case you are interested, is going to be in strength. So you've got strength or intellect that will increase slightly for you. Now one thing to keep in mind with the Crest of Alpha Lupi is that it is still a very fun piece of armor and very viable to use in 3v3 game types where revives are important, such as Trials of Osiris. So if you still don't have one, you need one with a really good boost to your intellect, go ahead and pick this one up. Up next for your Warlocks, we have the Void Fang Vestments with a Discipline and Strength roll. Pretty good stats on that one as well. And also what this does is you spawn with full grenade energy and your Axion Bolts gain an additional Seeker. So this is a pretty fun piece of armor to wear for your Warlock, especially of, obviously of course with your Axion Bolts with your Void Walker. And this was very, very popular uh, early on in Destiny. It was one of the stronger pieces of gear that you could wear. Uh, you don't see it much anymore, but it's still a fun piece. So if you still need one with a discipline and strength, this has a pretty good roll. Go ahead and pick this one up. I don't think you're going to be disappointed with it. Finally, for our weapon, we have the Patience and Time Sniper Rifle. Now, this used to be very, very fun to use. You rarely see it anymore just because there's so many other good snipers out there. But the one thing that's pretty cool about this is you gain active camouflage while aiming down the sights. So... That's, you know, pretty interesting. So <laughs> you, uh, while you're aimed, you'll actually go invisible. Doesn't matter if you're, you know, a hunter or anything. And it can make you, you know, pretty tricky to find on certain maps and certain locations. This is definitely a camping sniper type of a weapon. One other thing to note, this actually has third eye on a sniper rifle as well, which is very unique. So this is, uh, if you don't already have this weapon, I, I recommend picking it up, even if it's just for nostalgia purposes. But the weapon itself is very situational and can be used quite effectively in certain circumstances. Okay, for your weapon ornaments, we have the prototype, which is going to be for the truth. Now, this is not the one that turns the truth all gold. I'm still looking out for that one, but this is the other one for the truth. And also, we have got the iron class, which is going to be for the invective shotgun. Uh, so if you need either of those and you have the silver dust to spare, go ahead and pick them up. And the usual stuff for our curios, we got our emerald coil, we got the stealth drive, we got the heavy ammo synth, the three of coins, and of course the glass needles. And last, and in my opinion least, if you're needing some motes, you got the exchange there. Strange coin for two motes of light. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found it useful or helpful. If you did, go ahead and smack that like button. Also, if it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos like this in the future. In the comment section below, let me know if you're interested on anything that Zer was selling this week. And tell me what you think or what you would like to see him sell next week. But as always, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next one.